what's up guys this is sunny back with another video and today real quick i'm making this video because some of you guys were maybe thinking how this uh pico power supply perform because i told you if you guys did watch my last video i told you guys uh you can use a pico power supply with power adapter you guys can see here i have the power adapter right here and the pico power supply so i told you guys last time you can use a pico power supply with 65 uh what tdp cpu now i kind of want to show you guys today how this uh, uh pico power supply is performing and so you guys can see uh, you guys can see right here uh basically i had a intel uh, i5 6400 cpu laying around and a gigabyte h110 uh chipset uh motherboard so i was like why not turn this setup to like a budget hack and torch the system in so the system is running flawlessly i kind of like the system and you guys can see i have cinebench r20 open and also i have intel built in um hd uh, i believe 530 graphics working too so intel quick sync is working so basically the reason uh, i'm showing you guys this video today uh two reason right so the first reason uh, most of you guys always ask me if you guys are in budget and you're not planning on uh, going with like a, a graphics card and you basically want to use the cpu graphics and you're still in budget what type of system you should build like what type of hardware and stuff so this setup right here is perfect for someone who is looking to spend less money and still uh, want to run latest and greatest uh, mac os like catalina 10.15.3 uh, so basically i have here uh, i5 6400 cpu uh, that's a uh, quad core cpu uh, no hyper threading and a cheap uh, gigabyte h110 uh, motherboard uh, the socket is lga 1151 and I'm running Mac OS Catalina right now. The system is running flawlessly. I have uh, Intel QuickSync is working. So if you're into video editing, uh, if, uh, if you're planning on using like Final Cut, uh, this setup should be good. And like I said, the main reason I'm making this video because some of you guys, uh, you guys want to use like um, AMD uh, Ryzen uh, 3 CPU, like the uh, Ryzen uh, 1200 that's a quad core cpu or ryzen 3 2200g as you guys know currently you can use uh amd ryzen uh, 3 2200 uh, g built-in vega 8 graphics uh, so most of the time you guys ask me can i use ryzen 3 2200 g without a graphics card so if you're in budget and you really want a quad core uh, cpu and you want to build the hack and torch and you don't want a discrete graphics card uh this setup right here should be your best bet because with this setup uh basically you can pick up this motherboard for maybe uh, 40 dollar and i believe uh i5 6400 cpu you can pick up for like 100 dollar so for 100 and let's put this at 50 dollar uh you have a pretty nice setup here with intel quick sync and everything enabled and also you guys can see i'm using a pico power supply right here so right there pico power supply say 12 volt 160 watt pico power supply with a, a 12 volt 15 amp uh, power adapter and you guys can see here i'm only pulling uh, while idling only 15 watt from the wall okay so around 15 watt uh, i hope you guys can see clearly right now 20 uh, 16 yeah so idle is around like around 15 to 16 uh, watt and also if we let me see looks like sleep mode working really i don't know Oh, sleep mode doesn't work oh sleep mode is working wow surprise okay so you guys can see here i have uh cinebench r20 here and then if you let me show you guys uh if we zoom in all right so right here mac os catalina 10.15.3 uh i have imac profile 18.1 so that's a 2079 mac 
uh, i5 you guys can see right there intel hd graphics 530 and i have cinebench right here so let me just close this part right here i want to show you guys under load how many watt this system will pull from the wall so right now i'm still not running wait all right so right now we are running uh cinebench r20 so you guys can see right now system is pulling around 52 watt from the wall okay all right kind of upside down all right so yeah 52 watt system is pulling from the wall so that's not bad at all so we have a uh, 160 watt pico power supply right here and Pico Power Supply is great if you guys are planning on building like a mini ITX uh, build. You can't actually go wrong with Pico Power Supply. Uh, so basically I have here my motherboard, um, the CPU 65 watt TDP. I have G scale, uh, 8 gig RAMs right here, uh, 4 gig it's stick. And then I have a SanDisk SSD. That's the body right here and under full load while uh, running cinebench r20 we are basically pulling 52 watt from the wall and that's not bad at all guys so if you guys are planning on building like a mini itx uh, computer you don't really need to go with uh, uh, like a full-size power supply you can save money you can pick up this uh, Pico power supply uh, doesn't take that much room anyway and this power adapter stays outside so you don't have to worry basically inside the case uh, you will only, you will only have this uh, Pico power supply right here uh, it's a regular 24 pin plug and that's about it guys you got right here one SATA and then one Molex now if you want to go with uh, one more hard driver SSD you can just get it like a uh, Molex 2 SATA adapter. And that's it, you got one more drive there. And then I have a four pin uh, CPU uh, connector right here. That's about it, simple as that guys. All right guys, uh, if you guys are wondering uh, about the Cinebench score, uh, basically I got around 1254. Uh, well, you know, that's, that's just a, uh, quad core cpu uh, the base clock is around 2.7 gigahertz but if you guys are in budget uh, this setup is really good for like video editing uh, even with xcode uh, it should be fine and one thing i really like uh, the intel quick sync is working and i'll show you guys real quick uh, so basically i'm recording with my iphone 11 pro right now uh, and the front camera so i don't know how is the video quality if you guys see the video quality is not all that great i'm sorry i uh, kind of don't have an option but um, uh, as you guys know my uh, panasonic lumix gh4 uh, doesn't have uh, ibis so that's why i have to use this one uh, this phone all right so Cinebench R20 is almost done. So let me see. All right. All right, so we got around uh, 1260. That's not bad, guys. It's kind of low, I know, but not bad. All right, guys, let me know what do you guys think. And yeah, you can go with Pico Power Supply if you're planning on going with like a 65 watt TDP uh, CPU. So this CPU is uh, perfect for this Pico Power Supply. And like I showed you guys, the system was only pulling 52 watt. So 100 and 60 watt Pico Power Supply, it's more than enough.
Right guys, that should be it. See you guys next one. Peace.